How to add Google Maps to your Shopify store. Hey everyone, welcome. I hope you're all doing great. In this video, I will show you two different ways or methods that you can actually add your uh, Google Maps. This could be your location to your business or wherever you want to do a specific service. Whatever it may be that you need a Google Maps for a specific location. Uh, I will show you how to add that to your Shopify store to an actual page. So basically, uh, let's show you the two different ways that we can do it. First, let's go through the more basic way without adding any third party applications to Shopify store. Now, there's one method that actually requires a third party application. And there's one method that actually doesn't require anything. It just requires a code that you need to get from Google Maps itself. And you can just simply embed it into your Shopify store. So let's first start with the basic one. So what you need to do is just go ahead, and open up your Shopify store in one page, and then you will need to go to another page and just go to Google Maps. I'm just going to type in Google Maps real quick, go to Google Maps, and we will want to get a specific location. So this is the city that I'm living in. I'm just going to go ahead and select this hospital, for example. Let's say this is the one that we want. Uh, and basically just find the location that you want to use as um, as to put it in your Shopify store and lead people there, basically. So I'm just going to be using this one. Uh, and to, to work this out, what you will need to do is just select a place. And then you will need to click on the share button real quick. And now you have the ability to share it through WhatsApp, X, and more stuff here, or copy the link. And this is not what really we really need. What we want to do is click on embed a map, which is this option right here. And now, before we even copy the embed code, we want to go ahead and select the size for the map. So just go ahead and select the proper size for the map that you would like. I'm just going to go for the medium one I think is going to work well with our Shopify store. And then I'm just going to click on copy HTML. Now that we have this code copied, you can just go ahead and click on uh, or exit out of your uh, Google Maps. And now we have uh, our Shopify store. Basically for this method, we would want to create either a standalone page that is going to be specific for this map or you can use your contact page map or, or contact page to add to the map for my sake i'm just going to go to uh, pages and then i will create a new page for it a lot of people just use the contact page but i prefer to keep it separate uh, and if you want to use it on this page it's, it's exactly going to be the same steps that i'm going to do so do not worry but I'm just going to click on add a page, give it a name, which is going, just going to be location to business, address, whatever it may be. And basically what we want to do is go to the content section here. In here, we want to actually embed uh, our code. So we will need to click on this icon right here, which is going to be the show HTML. Once this happens, we will need to paste our code in. And then we just go ahead and click on save. And as you can see in the editor here, we can actually go ahead and see the map itself. Now, how about if we click on view page, it will actually show us the page and this is exactly how it's going to look like. Now you can actually just edit the page and feel free to add more elements to the page. For example, more sections. If you think that this is quite small for our Shopify store, then you can just go back to uh, Google uh, Maps and you can choose the larger size and actually use that instead. It's completely up to you. People can zoom in and out using these uh, and they can see more details about the actual place. Uh, what else should I say? So yeah, you can actually add your sections here as well if you want. And this is pretty much how to do it in the first step. Now, what about the second step, which is going to require um, a, a, a third party application? Basically, uh, this one, the application that I'm about to show you is just going to show you on the bottom right is going to show a little Google Maps icon. People can click on it and they will be 
redirected to the actual location. So we will need to navigate to our Shopify main dashboard, go to add apps, and basically we will need to click on Shopify app store. And here we will need to search for a specific app, which is called away, but I'm just going to type in Google maps. And you can see we have plenty of uh, useful applications here. Now I have, or I have tried this one right here, which is way uh, Google Maps Store Locator, which also uses Waze a map if you want to. But you can also navigate and see more apps if the one that I'm about to showcase does not work. Just keep in mind that uh, some of them are paid, and you can see whether they're paid or not by just looking underneath the name. You can see this one is completely for free. Some have um, a free plan available, but that means that there's a free plan, but there's you can also upgrade. So just go ahead and navigate if you don't like this one. But I'm just going to showcase this one, for example. Uh, and I, I, I have used it before and it was very easy to set up. So I'm just going to show you exactly how to do it. Click on it, click on install. And we will need to just simply install it to our uh, store to get it working. Now, I, I suggest that you try this one first. If you if it doesn't work for you, I, I probably would, it probably is going to work. But... Uh, maybe it's something else that like you want to actually add uh, more stuff to it or you think that this app is not going to be exactly how you want it to be then you can just feel free to you know select a different one anyways so once you install the application we have our settings here that we need to set up so we have the apps we have way google maps store locator and basically the first thing that we will need to do is actually select um, the place that you want to locate. So I'm just going to go ahead and um, let's just do the airport to Dubai. Why not? So let's just choose this one. Let's say this is our business um, place. So we can just go ahead and select the actual location. Now on the left side, we can see app enabled. This needs to be turned on. And now we have the appearance type, which is going to be the sticky icon, which is going to be the one at the bottom right the entire time. I prefer that you keep it this way, unless you have a different app that has a bottom right icon, then you can, you know, actually change it. Now the navigation app type, as I said, it supports two different maps, the Google Maps and also the Waze map. So whether you want this or that, you will need to specify this here first. Store locator location. This is going to be tell, um, allowing us to either select it only in our home page or the entire store. I'm just going to keep it as entire store. And then here we have the device support. And obviously you would want to keep it in the locator in every device, mobile and desktop. We don't really want it to be only in one platform. Uh, so, you know, just keep it as that. Now here we have the sticky icon settings. So, sorry. So we have these sticky icon settings here. The icon posi position, you can keep it bottom right or bottom left. Completely up to you. I'm just going to keep it as, let's actually do bottom left. And if you want to have an icon overlay text, you can also add that here. I like to keep it simple. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just going to, I can't even speak English today. So I'm not going to add any text over the actual icon. Once you're happy with the settings, we can just click on save. Okay, great. So now let's make sure that the store locator appears in your store. It should be successfully done. We don't really need to go through all of these steps. Uh, so we can just exit out of here. Now, what we need to do is just go ahead to our store. And we will be able to actually see it right here. So obviously, we have the Shopify icons here. So I may actually need to change something real quick. I need to open this up, make sure this is bottom right instead, click on save, click OK, and then let's just go back to our online store. And now we have it on the right side. As you can see, bottom right, we have the actual locator uh, icon here. People can actually click on it and it's going to take them to the actual Google Maps, which is a great way to add your location subtly without having it, you know, in your face. Uh, and not only that, we only we also have added the maps in uh, the other page. Let me just go to the customization tab because I don't have the page in there. Let me just click on 
uh, where's pages? Did I, okay, let me just look for, lo, what, what did I name it? I believe lo, location, yes, yeah, this one. So let's open up this page, and we have this map as well, which is the basic one. So this is pretty much how to add your Google Maps to your Shopify store. These are two different ways to add them. Now, obviously, like I said, if you want to change the app, it's completely down to your preference if you don't like the one. So feel free to add any different app if you don't like the way the one that we have just used. And this is pretty much all I have for you in this video. So I hope that you have found this video to be useful and thanks for watching.